Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of MHD December, The Great Race. Now, you'll notice there is no video playing on <laughs> while I'm saying this. For some reason, my recording got all wonky in the beginning and did not record, but it did start recording later on. What you're about to see right now is about, I'd say, a solid 20 seconds. 20, 30 seconds after I started recording. Um, you didn't miss anything. I cut down the wooden arrow I made and I climbed up a hill. And now I'm going to talk about food. So my main concern is food and that's all you have to know. Um, because I feel like that's one of the major dangers. Major danger! So today is Wednesday. Yes, it is Wednesday. Yes, yes. Because I have to upload all of these episodes. On Am I going the right way? I am. I have to upload all these episodes um, tomorrow on Thursday, so you guys have them for the rest of the month. So I'm going to do something I've never done before, and I'm going to do a whole recording session right now. Luckily for me, <laughs> um, MHC has a as a um, a set like amount of time to record. Like with my talking with PBs and um, hello horses. Oh, some people are going to be happy to see you. I've heard that there is a dungeon in one of the caves in the beginning, so... Um, oh, chickens! Please, 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 please drop. Please drop. Please, please drop. Please drop. Oh, I don't need this. Oh, I forgot I got a, I got a thing! I forgot all about that. Also, I know I have a bow. Let's do some re rechecking. Well, so we look around here to see if they're going to drop anything. Do a little bit of this. Let's put some real blocks there. And I guess... No luck today. Sometimes they will have laid eggs, like, immediately. Immediately when you render them in, they will, um... Drop eggs. Am I... Yeah, I'm more or less, um... In zero zero. So yesterday, yesterday being Tuesday for me, I, um, well, not I, the <clears throat> last episode of season one of, um, the show I keep, you know, raving about, Carmilla came out, and, oh man, I'll go down here and check it out. Do you guys see anything? I don't see anything. Um, I have my friendly creatures, um, sounds off, guys. Uh, because I work, I've been working a lot in my How to Survive, um, the Apocalypse Minecraft series a lot. And in that series, I have animals, friendly, a lot of friendly animals very close to me at all times. So, ooh, there's a lava pool right under me. And therefore, I do not have the patience for listening to moos and oinks and baas all day, every day. I'll take that, thank you. So, 1400. Today I want to make as much progress as possible. Um, I heard someone was at 4000 and I was like, what? How are you at 4000? It took me like 5 minutes to just get myself prepared to leave the area. Maybe they're running. Maybe they have like a really good source of food. I should probably like, check them out. I really... Really, I'm gonna kill like every single zombie I see tonight because um I really want a carrot. Like so badly, I want a carrot because carrots are the most efficient non-cooked food. <laughs> I think um like that you don't have to do anything with. Yeah, like you don't have to craft anything. I think they are officially the most efficient um food for your saturation. I think you get two. Uh, maybe one and a half every time you eat a, a carrot. Alright. Man, we're going through these fast. Once we... We'll craft more when we get to it. Or depending on the time. Oh, man. I changed my DPI. Um, my... I don't know what DPI stands for. I can't even pretend I know what that stands for. But I changed my DPI. Oh my god, there was red mushrooms over there. Um, I changed my DPI a a while ago. And by a while ago, I mean probably... Mm, when would I have done it? Probably... 
ravine. When would I have done it? I'm gonna keep in mind to keep one of these in case I need to grow one. Uh, are you guys gonna drop anything? Oh, yeah. Uh, I changed it to 4,000 because if you guys didn't know, I have a um, Razor Death Adder, and um, it allows you to customize your DPI settings. And you can go really high with it and whatever. And I want to go, you know, decently high. Just because I have, I'm working on a large screen. I'm working on a, on an actual HD screen. <laughs> um, it is, I think it's a 24 inch TV. That is my main monitor. Um, so I have to move my hand a lot <laughs> to get across the screen. And so the lower the DPI um, sensitivity, the better chance I have. Uh, well, the happier my hand will be. <laughs> and also, I love it because it's made just for... It's, I'm assuming it's made for, like, guys. Um, because it is large. It is a large mouth. But it is perfect for my large hand. One of the things that happens when you are, are, when you are a tall person... Sweet. Sweet. Do I have an axe? I do. Man, this axe getting so much love. I don't, I'm not worried about food anymore then. I'm not worried at all about food. Let's just get at it. I believe, um, axes are the best tool to use for when cutting down mushrooms. I don't really remember. But yeah, I was talking about Cumberland and I watched the finale. And I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys because I really, if you guys have not checked it out, I really recommend it. Um... Even though I'm talking about it as a young person and as a female, I know a lot of males who really enjoy it and um, a lot of heterosexual males for you guys who are all um, uppity about your sexuality. <laughs> uh, and it's just, it's, I, it's a very empowering show for everyone. Um, there are males who are very important and there are Females who are very important. It's it's an all in all empowering show, but it's you know it empowers women more. And so I'm 21. I've told you guys this. Um, turning 22 next April, so I'm you know about halfway through 21. And let me tell you what it's been like with media for someone like me. Um, so let's think. Um, so when did Ellen come out? Ellen came out, Ellen DeGeneres came out sometime in the late 90s, I believe. So, um, and I was born then, <laughs> if you were wondering. I was born in the early 90s. If you do the math, it was 1993 that I was born. Um, and because of this, um, media sort of started becoming more queer friendly, but it sort of didn't know how to do it. And it's very obvious with all the tropes that have happened. Um, and <clears throat> it's sort of, it's been a very interesting just cycle. And I remember um, when I was just a little, uh, a, a little, put a little girl. <laughs> um, and by little girl, I mean, I was probably a preteen. Um, I remember, um, oh, what was it called? I don't even remember what it was called. Oh, it was South by No, South, South of Nowhere, I believe. It was on uh, Nickelodeon, maybe. I don't really remember. But I remember watching that, but I didn't watch it too much because I, we stopped um, having cable, like, very, very early on in that series. So I had no idea what the series was going to be about um, and no way to, you know, really know. But that was the first experience I had with queer media. And then, moving on to the future, uh, I remember watching The L Word um, at the age of probably like 16, 16, 17, uh, when I was first coming out. And I, um, and that, that was a ride, um, because that is just pure lesbian and queer of all kind. 
And so, but that was HBO or Showtime or whatever it was on. And so, and that was like mid 2000s, I think, like 2006, probably 2005, four around there. I don't know. It ran for a very long time. <laughs> Point is that it was, you know, it was off air by the time I watched it. Oh, let's make a bunch more stuff. Oh, I have a bunch of these. I need to make that. Do I believe I want to spend a little more time in doing this? This means I can run, guys. I feel like this is good news for you. Um, I want that there, 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 there. I don't need that, so there, and there. I don't need this in my life anymore, and um, I don't need this in my life anymore. And But I do not need that. I don't need that anymore. Damn it. I picked up some. Do you mind? Nope. Nope. There we go. Alright, I want to gather some more mushrooms so I'll be, you know, good to go for the rest of the... rest of the series. I still really want some carrots, guys. Carrots are still the most efficient thing to do. But for now, this is what we'll do. And this is why I made all these things. So yeah, um, and that was just me seeking out media. Um, that made me more comfortable with who I am. And then, uh, oh god, <laughs> I thought that was a killer bunny. And I was about to freak out. How much does this do? Is this... Oh, get get out of here. Get out of my life. I know a lot of people did fishing. I considered fishing, but then, god damn it. I considered doing fishing, but then I changed my mind. Um, just because it takes a very long time and I don't have a lot of luck fishing. Did you see that? I saw that fly right past my head. Hello, creeper. Ooh, that's a fancy building. Oh, is this the ocean people talked about? I don't have time to stop. Um, let's head this way. I really wanted to kill you, but I don't have time right now. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna swim out to this um this landmass over here. If you guys have never watched another one of my videos, oh, I'm lagging. Um, <laughs> you guys have never watched one of my other videos. I do this a lot. I um I run into the water because moms can't follow you into the water, and once you're fairly offshore, it's very easy to avoid, um, it's very easy to avoid mobs and such. I don't need that anymore. Um, fine, you can come back. What was I gonna do? Oh, boat. Boat. I need to make a boat. I need to put that there. Oh gosh, I'm panicking, guys. I'm panicking because I know I'm wasting a lot of time here. Let's go. Go, go, power. I'm going to lose this boat. <laughs> Just so we're all clear, I'm going to lose this boat. So, yeah, yeah, So, while we're here, I, it's perfect time to, for me to speak. Um, oh god, oh god, oh god. Is it this way? Nope. This way. This way? Nope, still not that way. Not that way, it's this way. Yes? Yes, it's this way. Alright. So like I was saying, um, change of FOV so we feel better about ourselves, how fast we're going. Um, I, so yeah, I did that and I seeked it out myself. Oh, get away from the squid. And so, but the first like thing I was watching already and, you know, LGBT things started popping up in it were, um, I feel like I'm going backwards, but that's just an optical illusion. <laughs> um was Glee, um, with Chris Colfer as Kurt, and then eventually, you know, Darren and, um, Darren Chris as Blaine and Naya R Rivera, Rivera as, um, Santana and Brittany Murphy, not Brittany Murphy, Brittany, um, I forget her actress's name, god, what is her, whatever her name is, um, in Glee and all of that, and so I was just like, wow, representation, but it was done so poorly on Glee. So poorly on Glee that I just not a fan. <laughs> um, and then there was oh landmass. Oh major landmass. Is this a huge wall? 
It is. I don't want to get on there. Where am I? Oh, well, apparently I was right against it. There it is. Great. I really wanted three different colors. Really, really, really could have done without that. Let's throw that there. Let's do this. I don't need half slobs anymore. I don't know why I'm worried. Um, I don't need you to stay away from me, good sir. Or madame. I don't know. Are zombies genderless in this? I have no idea. I mean, oh god. I guess it doesn't really matter, man. This is the most dangerous thing to possibly pop into. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Goodbye, Mr. Creeper. Did that do damage to me? Was I actually over there? I know I'm lagging because I'm generating new terrain. Oop. I'm at 3,000. Man, I'm still 1,000 behind, and it's about to be daytime. Nope. There is a nice skeleton over there who wants to get to know my name, and I don't want to get to know their name. I'm really terrified. I've never encountered a... I've never even been creative. I've never encountered the um, killer bunny of counter... <laughs> um, counter... What is it? Counter... Canterbury? No, I don't know. That's me just speculating. It's three! Alright. Sweet. It does three. Good to know. Good to know. And, um... So it was um, so that was the next thing I saw, and and then after Glee Club, I again seeked out more media myself, and I you know I learned about Skins UK. It was around the time I I was introduced to Tumblr, so it, um finding LGBT media became a lot easier, and after reading a lot of books and stuff like that, I found. Um, Skins UK, and it was done fairly well, um, except for the episode we don't speak of that just recently came out. Man, that's really pretty. This is a really pretty location. There's a... Keep that in mind, brain. Oh god, how did you hit me? That's MLG Pro hacks, right there. That's, that's not pro, that attacks. Oh god. Oh, fuck. Well, I didn't expect that to kill me. Oh man, this sort of makes my life a little bit easier. I only have to upload one video. <laughs> oh god damn it. Oh well. I died somewhere around like 3,200. So I blame lag for this one because I was far enough away that that wouldn't have hurt me. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And um, good luck in the great race. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.